Hi, and welcome to my third discussion for American Christian Heritage. Uh, before we get started, I just want to say, according to course guidelines, historians must be honest and objective in their research and must be dedicated to a reasoned investigative con reconstruction of primary sources. Uh, today's discussion is going to be on the scope trials. Uh, the scope trials took place in the spring and summer of 19. The scope trials took place in the spring and summer of 1925, um, after the Butler Act bill was passed in May of 1925 in Tennessee. Um, the Butler Act is basically an act that uh, was passed to prevent evolution being taught in any of the educational institutions throughout Tennessee. Um, due to this bill basically stopping any of the science education for evolution, the ACLU was enraged by this and decided to take on the state legislature and offer to defend any of the teachers that would be prosecuted under this law. Um, to get a better understanding, the ACLU um, really pushed for a young teacher by John T. Scopes at the age of 24 to become the first defendant um, under this under their protection to prevent the teaching of evolution in, in any of the schools. Um, and John T. Scopes was a high school football coach and he also was a substitute teacher. The majority of the time he substituted for bio biology classes um, at his school, Raya County High School. And so when he taught biology, he did teach a chapter on evolution. Uh, so they, they said, you know, we'll defend you and you can come and you know we'll we'll win this trial. So um, according to the Sun newspaper on on May twenty fourth, right before the grand jury was held, um, the article speaks of of the grand jury having to decide whether this in, impedes the freedom of belief for any of the people out there, um, and talks about the state legislature laying down a rule against the teaching of any doctrine. So basically, the grand jury had to decide if this was a trial they were willing to, or if they were indeed going to indict John Scopes for um, teaching evolution, or if, if they were allowed to teach it because it was part of their belief system. Um, and this kind of got into the whole, they can't have religion and evolution in the same sense um, because it goes against what the Bible says. Um, so Scopes was eventually indicted for teaching evolution. And he was uh, defended by Charles um, Darrow. Um, but Charles Darrow also had help from Wilson, Woodrow Wilson's, um, one of Wilson, Woodrow Wilson's Secretary of State, uh, Bainbridge Colby. On the other side, um, the prosecution was also going to be done by a Wilson State Secretary, uh, William Jennings Bryan, um, according to the Sun newspaper in June, of uh, June 10th of 1925. So the Scopes trial would eventually be fought and the argument throughout the trial was evolution is not a, it should not be told that they can't teach during that time. Um, and they fought and basically talked about the topic of evolution instead of the real fact that it wasn't about the evolution being taught, it was about the fact that the teacher was guilty under this law by teaching the evolution or teaching evolution. Um, so he, Scopes eventually was found guilty and fined $100. Um, the interesting thing about this article, or this, this topic, is that it became famous by the name of the monkey trial, because during the whole um, trial, the, pers the prosecution kept referring to um, the evolution as man came from a monkey. That was their argument, that it was not right, because that's not what the Bible taught. Um, so when anyone looked up the Scopes trial, it would go directly to the monkey trial. Um, and so it wasn't about the evolution itself being taught. It was about the fact that this law was passed in Tennessee or this bill was passed in Tennessee and John Scopes was illegally taught evolution to his students. So the evolution factor wasn't necessarily on trial as much as John Scopes was for teaching it. And that's why he was found guilty. Thank you.